Hello land of internet. Today I'm doing a review of the ELVT vaporizer. It is waterproof, shockproof, has a flashlight, charges your phone, and has variable wattage and voltage. So, like I said, it's shockproof, so thank god. Um, I have it charging right now off its USB charger. As you can see, you charge it with USB, and you also have USB out. So, if I so choose, with the included cable that charges everything, iPhone, new one, uh, micro USB, normal USB, plug it right in, click the switch, on, and charging! It's actually the first time I ever charged anything off it. I haven't used that actually yet, but I'm um, glad I have it just in case I do need to use it. But um, just right off the bat, variable wattage, I have it at 10 watts. Whoop. So yeah, that was at 9, that's usually where I keep it. If you hold down the power button and negative, or the minus button, for 5 seconds, you switch to voltage, and you can adjust your voltage. I keep it on watts because as I, uh, as I understand it, the wattage automatically adjusts the voltage for your coils. So it's kind of like when you put it on. Uh, now it's back on wattage. It's kind of like when you put your camera on automatic versus manual. It's kind of now on automatic, and I'm changing the heat. So just play with the heat, and you won't really burn your coils. Hold on. Sniffy, sniffy, sniffy. That being said, going to the tank. The tank is in a Spire Nautilus 2. It has adjustable air holes. See? I want the second biggest hole. The biggest hole. Second biggest. Third biggest. It's so small. I like it on the second biggest. So what I find actually but no one else will tell you in any other video that other than the fact that this tank is incredible like, incredible it doesn't leak, it doesn't bur uh, gurgle, it has amazing flavor, amazing vapor production but it doesn't work off gravity like other vaporizers do I find it has kind of a chamber it goes down, holes that go in and then the fluid has to go up so the only way for that to work is if you create a negative pressure, a vacuum if you will within the uh, chamber itself so when I have it on the biggest hole um, since it's so, there's so much airflow and everything like that, you kind of have to heave harder for um, the chamber to, or the chamber to have the vacuum pressure, so you get, you don't get dry hits. So I just keep it on the um, second biggest because you still have a lot of airflow, but it's also just enough resistance that you keep that air pressure in there. So, no further ado. Well, that one wasn't that impressive, was it? Like I said, incredible, incredible combination. Battery on this will last all day. The fact that it's waterproof, shockproof means that can kind of ding it up. Really won't have anything bad to happen. It looks kind of ugly and bulky. Same time I'm quitting smoking with this, I need it to work. And I need it to work every time I want to hit it, or else it's going to kind of defeat the purpose of quitting smoking with it. Um, nothing but good things. I haven't had one complaint. I love the fact that I can charge my phone with the same cable I charge my vape with. Also, it came with a USB charger as well, so I charge it with that. As you can see, the green light goes on when it's charging.
I like it because you know you can uh, you can charge it and use it at the same time. Whereas if you have another standard mod like that, or not mod, but just battery, notice the charger is here. You can't use it while it's charging. So if you forgot to charge it last night like I did, you gotta wait, fiend. Not that bad, but it's kind of annoying. Now within this, I have half whipped cream, half blueberry. And I will show you how awesome this is to actually fill. So first, Actually, you know what, I'll leave it on the actual tank. Here's the actual tank. It's made out of Pyrex. It says 5 milliliters, but you can go past that to about 6. Don't fall. You coil. It's pretty nifty. We don't want that to port for port. There we go, look at that. Now these are actually rebuildable, and every time I rebuild these, I get them below one ohm, so I can't actually use it with this, so I keep on giving it to my buddy that has a mod. Sorry, my nose is funny. And, yeah, if you look inside of here, I don't have hopes that you'll be able to see. But, you can't really see. Well, there's two coils in there that are wrapped, and it's easy enough to rebuild. You take this off, and basically just pop right out. But, um, yeah, what I was saying before with the gravity is you have the air holes, or well, not air holes, but the holes, I don't know if you can see, it's right above the uh, line here. You'll see them, there's one, there's another one, another one, and obviously another one. So, yeah, just remember to keep the vacuum pressure in there. It'll get the best hits every time. The, the coils need to be saturated really, really hard because it is a dual coil uh, build. And these are pretty good coils, like they're wrapped around cotton and everything like that, so it'll go through a lot of fluid, just make sure it's well saturated. Screws back on. The amazing rubber grommet that doesn't allow any leakage. And You know what? Just for you guys, put on the biggest air hole. Demonstrate what this thing can do. You know what? Put it at 11 watts. Watch this. Not a bad fat man. Yeah. Buy one of these. You buy it as a tool. It works great as a toy. We can buy it as a tool. The battery lasts you all day. The flu uh, fluid lasts you all day. It won't die on you. You can just smoke it when you really want. Back to nine. It works well between nine and ten. I keep it at nine because the lower of the two, and I figure the lower of the two will burn it less. Yeah, again, I like to keep it on the second biggest because it'll still allow me to keep that vacuum chamber. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's it. Told you everything you need to know. Give me likes for the Star Trek shirt and calculator boxers. It's how it does. I'm a like whore now.